Your daughter-in-law said Nathan wanted you out of the house by the time he returned, but he never returned. So, lucky you. <laughs> I'm gonna try to follow your logic. I think you do. Let's talk about the fire at the diner. She said you admitted to burning down your own diner just to get close to them. And do you believe her? But weren't you involved with a fire like this previously? At your, your car dealership. You're right. I lit the dealership fire almost burning myself to death in the process, just so I'd have an excuse to murder my own brother and serve a full term in jail, get released, get a third world heart transplant, then write a book, start my own motivational talk show, give up my newfound fortune, and move to a remote diner just so I could burn it down and collect the $65,000 insurance policy, then get rid of my son and move in with his family who hates me. Nice work, detective. You caught me. What's it take to be a trio cop these days? Pen? This is the part where you either charge me or release me. <laughs> this can't be right. What is it? <clears throat> We're just getting initial reports that former NBA player and Tree Hill resident Nathan Scott has been reported missing. Scott, who became a sports agent after retiring from the NBA due to a back injury. This is not happening. This can't be. Okay, what can I do? Do you want to take Jamie for the day? No. I need to talk to him. Hey, you okay? Is it dad? Is he okay? Uh, actually, I needed to talk to you about that. Um... I know how brave you are, and I know that it's all gonna be okay. But just right now, we're having a little trouble finding your dad. I'm sure that he's fine. He probably just got lost or something. We're gonna find him. We're gonna find him. Promise. From this time forth, my thoughts be bloody, will be nothing worse. <laughs> mm. <laughs>